Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you this beautiful, fully renovated home here for sale in Vero Beach, Florida, that I just listed on the market. This is 163 Ninth Court, and a lot of work has been done on this house to make it what it is today. So I'm gonna show you some before and after footage so you can see just how much work that has been done to this property to get it ready to sell on the market. I've been getting a ton of calls on this property, so if you are interested, reach out as soon as possible. With that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the tour. All right, so you saw what it looked like before, and now this is what it looks like after. And I'm gonna go over a breakdown of everything we did. First off, we started with a new exterior coat of paint to make it pop. I think curb appeal is such a big deal when you're trying to sell your home. So I'm glad that the owner agreed. We also did new landscaping. We took all of that dead brush and all that bad looking stuff. We got it on out of there and put some new plants in as well as just trimmed up. We also cleaned up the yard a little bit it wasn't in the best shape and now it looks a lot better and then lastly we went ahead and cut down the two palm trees there and added a nice bougainvillea bush but onward to the inside yeah look looks really nice also new mulch new landscaping and we also added this new door instead of the red door all right as we go in here you'll see that it looks a lot differently Looks a lot better. First thing that, you know, you probably see that we did is the floor. We added new luxury vinyl planking flooring throughout in the whole house. And then also, we added a completely new kitchen. So new cabinets, new appliances, new quartz waterfall countertops, very nice. New lighting fixtures, really everything is brand new in this home. New fresh coat of paint on the inside as well. Like I said, brand new appliances, nice new quartz countertops. We also added a very nice deep sink in there with a garbage disposal. So yeah, I think it came out really nice. Let me know what you guys think down in the description or down in the comments rather. Another thing we did was frame in a closet. Technically this was a tutu with a den and we went ahead and framed in a closet so we can sell it and market it as a full 3-2. We kept the crown molding and it was black and it didn't really look good. We had it professionally painted and now that runs all the way in the living room and then it picks up over there. So overall, really good looking kitchen. Good looking living space. On to a guest bedroom. As you can see, we added new lights, new, you know, new bright, nice lights. Great looking room. Good size, good size closet as well. All right. And hopefully I'm putting up some before and after photos of what it looks like. Because man, this does, this looks a lot better than when I first came in, let me tell you that. I was pretty scared. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna get the nice bathroom. And believe it or not, this tiled in shower was already there and it looks actually really nice. So we went ahead and kept that. That was one of the surprises, the nice surprises that we found with this home. You know, new vanities, new everything, quartz countertops, new mirrors, brand new lights, everything really brand new in here. And the master has its nice walk-in closet as well. Right. Let's take a look at the backyard. Backyard, we also did a lot of landscaping and cleaning up. Um, there was just a lot of junk and dead trees and dead landscaping, so we went ahead and trimmed everything up, trimmed up the banana tree, removed all the dead trees, got this place looking really nice. Nice private backyard. You have very nice bougainvillea there that's gonna be blooming. Well, it is blooming. Um, you have privacy landscaping, so you really can't tell your neighbors over there. You have neighbors across the canal in the back, but you really can't see them. And then you have your neighbors over there, and that's 
fairly blocked off as well. Other things that were nice updates is this nice new AC. This is a 2021 Train XRAC. Off the best unit you can get, really good brand, so we're happy with that. This property also comes with a very nice side yard as well. So if you have kids, well not really kids, hopefully you're not leaving them in the side yard, but it gates it off a little bit so you have peace of mind. And if you have pets, that's also a nice plus. You can see everything's nice and trimmed up. Before it just wasn't. Now it looks really nice. Let's go see that inside one more time. Oh, another thing, the siding was replaced in 2021. So this siding is just absolutely in great condition. And one thing I do wanna show you before we head back inside is the reason why this siding is looking so good. Cause this is a frame home. Look at how long that overhang is. So that overhang, I think I measured it and it was 28 inches. On new homes today, the, si the, the roof overhang is so close to the home it ends up getting this part of the siding a lot, a lot dirtier and more rotted. And you, you can see this is, one, it's newer, but also it's getting kept in great condition because of that overhang. So that is just something that you don't see too much nowadays unless you're in a custom home. So that's a nice kind of hidden benefit that you don't think about until someone points it out. Obviously, very nice screened in lanai. Could have a dinner table out here, really anything you want. It's a good size, nice accordion style shutters. So if that hurricane does roll through, all you do is boom, close that and you're good. There are shutters for a few of the windows and those are in the garage. I'll show you that right now. Here's the garage. It is just a garage, one car garage, and it has a brand new garage door opener. AC is going to be 2021, so fairly new, almost brand new. And we also got this brand new paint. All right, now I did tell you guys I was going to show you, <clears throat> or tell you rather, tell you, show you, how I got rid of that terrible smell that this house had. First thing, um, smells terrible. Really bad scent, or really bad smell in here. I would say cigarettes, dogs, cats, and they had a, a lot of snakes as well. And it's a mixture of all those things. And let me tell you, it wasn't easy. It took multiple days, but let me show you the assortment of products I use. Right away, boom. Smoke, eat, uh, smoke odor eliminator, used almost the whole can, maybe three fourths of this. Second, this thing. This is an ozone machine. So with an ozone machine, I'm no scientist, but what I believe it does is it, it, it pretty much eliminates smoke and odor, um, I think by breaking down the molecules. Um, so once it breaks down the molecules, you can start eliminating the odor. It takes all, all the oxygen in here. So you can't be inhabiting the house while it's going on, but I pretty much sewed it up for a night. Put the ozone machine right by the AC feeder and uh, I came back and a lot of the smells were gone. And then I just started using, you know, fabric, pet odor products and Fabuloso and, um, and Clorox. So just a, just a little tip on if you do have a very foul smelling odor, go ahead and use an ozone machine, uh, close up your house or your car or whatever smells and it, it, uh, it does a really good job. So tell me what you guys think. This is a rehab. Very nice home, not a whole lot of inventory on the market. Like I said, I've been getting a ton of calls on this property. So if you are interested, please let me know as soon as possible. I'd love to bring a buyer for my seller. And once again, we'll take one last look at it outside. Beautiful sunny day here in Florida. And this is what $350,000 can get you on a very, very nice quiet street. That is a cul-de-sac over there. So there's not a lot of through traffic. You'll see a lot of families playing in these streets because there's just not too many cars that go by. Beautiful, beautiful day here in Florida. This is Spencer Bailey, LPT Realty, signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, 
And if you have any questions, I'll put my phone number and business card on screen and you guys can reach me there. But until the next time, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.